Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nermic. Welcome back to more of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Right now it is February 3rd, 2022 at 9.26 in the morning. And we're going to get started. Yes, yeah, so you may be realising it's, uh, I think this is the earliest we've actually recorded an episode of this. I've just got back from dropping my sister off at school. And, ooh. Yeah, there has been an expansion to the museum. That is solely what I'm here for. So, uh, we should set up an exhibit that reflects our image of Mystere. Nah, I'm going to use that as extra storage and nothing else. Okay. Well, yeah, so if you weren't here last time, we uh, we spent the entire episode pretty much um, going hard on trying to get the, uh, the museum second floor finished for this episode. And I'm proud to say uh, we seem to have done just that. Uh, which is good because, you know, it gives us an excuse to go to the museum. And we can dig up all our fossils beforehand too, so it works. Anyway, so how's your morning shaping up, Daniel? Hope it's going to be a good one. So what's going on? I think my room's order is all thrown off and the laptop is to blame. But I don't know what I should swap into that place. I'm really agonizing here. I want you to choose a replacement for my laptop. I trust your style. Um... A laptop? Hmm... PC, maybe? I don't know. Either way, um, hmm, I should probably move some of these flowers in case it's the money rock because it's not gonna, it's not gonna give me the full amount now, is it? Please, I swear, please, just bounce, bounce. Okay, now it's personal. Okay, I, oh yeah, I forgot, you can't pick, you can't pick, up for number you can, it's just, you don't have to dig them up in this one. Weird game, either, I'll plant you here. Because I had a feel that it's like, that's gonna screw me if I dare to even think about doing it. There was a chance it won't be. And then it was. And um, now we're here. Ah, oh, you can't win some mornings. Uh, either way, this morning's shaping up to be a very interesting one indeed. Um, yes. Train Travesty 4 is being filmed in a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but um, on Tuesday, so... I'm in a little bit of an awkward predicament where I'm behind a day on uploading, so I need to kind of go hard today and what have you. And we'll wait for those guys to be grown before we harvest them, I think. Well, no, uh, Tree Travesty 4, I'm obviously away for a few days. And, I mean, I want to keep up the content. I want to keep the streak. We're so close to two years. So, oh. Kind of the dilemma is that, realistically... Okay, angle yourself, right? I need to pre-record for three to four days for that and catch up today. And I'm working at the weekend, so I've got today and tomorrow to make... By my calculation, what would be about... So we've got one extra catch-up video, so that's one extra. Plus the video which I'm making today. And then plus the four videos just play safe. I've got to make six videos over two days. Not ex not excluding, you know, Saturday and Sunday where I also need to upload. So it's, um... It's shaping up to be interesting. And yeah, what I think I might do is I might record all my Animal Crossing content today. And what I can kind of do is kind of walk you through how my day's been going in between all the different recordings. So I record this first, then if we want to finish the PC set of games, then I'll go say Persona 4, export one of those, have some lunch, then a little while after that I might go New Leaf? Not New Leaf, um, New Horizons, follow that up with some uh, Great Ace Attorney, then um, go up, move over to the Wii U, do some Skyward Sword City Folk, wrap up with Sonic Unleashed, and then at least I've got a clean sweep of everything. So it's, uh, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. <sighs> it's still so early though. Oh, we gotta keep powering through. And on top of that, too, I've got my uh, the uh, Lost World video to do. So it's um, I kind of want to get that out by the seventh, which is when I leave. So we're we're really busy. I'm very busy. I just need to be efficient and not waste any time today, and I reckon I can do it. Now, uh, how about we get introduced to this new floor then? So, hmm, 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 hmm. oh dear me! I do beg your pardon. I was just resting my eyes. So, uh, welcome to Mister's personal exhibit and gift shop floor. Thanks to you, this floor is newly opened. Thank you very much for all your support. By the way, this is the first time you've seen this floor, isn't that right? If you have the time, I'd like to briefly explain about the floor. Okay. Citizens of the town can use any exhibit room on this floor to dis for as they fit for a display. We rent personal exhibit spaces for a fair price, so please let me know if you want to use them. You can decorate the rooms in the same way you would decorate your very own home. If you use the locket as a staircase, you can easily grab items from home to use in the exhibit. God, I'm trying to talk through your own. And you can also store any items you may be carrying, so it makes things very convenient. I hope you enjoy crafting a lot of unique displays. And that's all you have to say. I also sell souvenirs here in the hall, so uh, yada yada yada. Yeah, the main reason most people construct this floor is to get 
silver tools. Um, like, from a usage standpoint, they're not the most important thing in the world. I'd argue gold tools are more of an achievement, but... Hey, if you want to feel special and uh, funky, then you can get, like, silver shovels, I think. Uh, you just donate a certain amount of... <sighs> Sorry, I'm really tired. Um, not tired, it's just that I'm early morning. But you can get, like, silver shovels after you donate a certain amount of your fossils. Then, like, I think fishing rods after so many fish, bug nets for bugs. Yeah, get the drill. Either way, should have probably done this on the way in. Uh, but others, I have some fossils for you to assess. <laughs> I'm behind you. <laughs> oh, so ominous. Right, how many be of service? Assess me fossils, brothers. Hell yeah. And like, so I head back to the town, we'll sell those, and I think we'll vibe for the rest of this episode. Yeah, I've got something I'd like to discuss because I think it's uh, I think it's interesting. Okay, okay. You know what? Fine, fine, fine. I'm too tired to argue. Like I said, I'm not rushing to fundraise money. I can't think of a next town project just yet. We'll have this be the gap episode where we're not actually raising money for kind of any long-term goal. So you take those. Uh, it gets you closer to selling me a silver shovel. So. Meh, meh. Enjoy the rest of my visit. I will try to. And now, yeah, but no, we haven't been to Timmy and Tommy's yet, so uh, we'll go do that. See what, see what's on sale. If it's anything special, we'll uh, see if it can fit inside the house. And if not, oh well. So, no, oh, Pippi. Yeah, well, okay, we'll speak to Pippi on the way out. I want to speak to my villagers in this one a little bit more because I, I like the selection of it. It's not all perfect, so it's, uh, it's interesting. I'm liking it. So welcome, welcome, come on in, and... Nah. Nah. Literally, all of those are items I wouldn't even consider ever buying, so, um... Sorry, Tommy, but you're not getting my surface for another episode in a row. It's like, dude, just no. Just no. And how are you doing, Pippi? I'd, I'd advise against you going uh, into TNT Mall. It's a bit bad. Right. I super adore this place. I can get all my shopping done at once, and there's so much more time for dancing. I mean, it's convenient having it all clumped together in one, one place. I always like, I always like this, uh, this type of stuff. It's, uh, I always say, but it is a shame that New Horizons didn't, in some way, shape, or capacity, kind of go, hey, we should, we should do, uh, yeah, some sort of shop. I mean, they did. They did. It's just not the most fletched out thing in human history if you're getting me anyway you know let's just rip the band-aid off look i knew this was gonna happen except for this one which apparently is on a different timer but look i knew this was coming might as well get it out of the way it means next episode we can have a nice little harvest if we leave it a few days um there you go got there in the end didn't you oh either way, what was i saying you know i suppose you did get a shopping plaza but it's just a lot of the stuff in there, I, just, I, I much prefer them having their own stores rather than just stalls. Uh, it's, it's, I could go on and on about New Horizons, but I, I like Main Street. I, I still prefer the city. I think the atmosphere there is quite nice and whatnot, so it's uh, sort of going to remain my favourite, but... Meh, yeah. Like I said, it's strange. Um, that begs the question, though. If New Horizons isn't getting any more updates, I'd say if by summer this year... Um, it doesn't even have, like, a minute update that has, like, one of those videos where they go on about, like, what they're adding and whatnot. I would argue to see New Horizons is probably dead in the water. Which starts the discussion of when the next game is. If you get what I'm saying, it's, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't like saying it, but... The wait has technically begun for a new Animal Crossing game. Um, so I'm not sure about you guys, but I have a feeling people aren't going to be as forgiving with the next one's release date as they were with New Leaf. Or oh, with New Horizons. Solely because... I mean, if you look at... Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Um, hang on, that's, that's not right. Oh, no, it is right. Okay, never mind. I'm just being old and senile, and... You know, to make up for the lost money, I'll, I'll grab the apples that are around town, too. I was going to say, though. Now, but New Leaf was a nice, polished game. I like it. I give it a bit of slack, because I like the series, but New Leaf, is, New Leaf is a good game. I think the problem is, though, is that New Horizons definitely didn't satisfy the itch a lot of people have had. So, now begs the question as... Well... You could make the argument that people are going to get very impatient very quickly. It, it, that, yeah, that makes that makes uh, that, that sense. Made sense. Like I don't know. I feel like the demand for a new game is going to crop up quicker because all the people didn't feel New Horizons really 
did. It means say what it feels like it didn't do too much. It doesn't have. It, it did the time. I mean, it didn't send a lot of people at the time in quarantine, but I just don't think it has sustained power of this game. So it does. It does kind of beg the question. Earlier than most people would have hoped. Um, you know, when's when's Animal Crossing? Five, six. Animal Crossing six. Is that number we're on? Jeez. Oh. Oh yeah. This is the fourth game. New Horizons will be the fifth, not counting spin-offs. So that would make oh. Six Animal Crossing games! Man, it's, it's always weird the thought of this series getting longer because like, I know I've said this a million times, but I grew up with the notion that this was a very obscure game. New Leaf came out and kind of, you know, bumped it up in popularity a little, and now New Horizons made it a household name. Uh, so it's like, ah, oh, oh, this is my series, it's getting big. It's like, huh. I suppose the question is, so why do I do think it would come out? Like, Honestly, without any like outside influence, I do think we'll do to wait at least a fair few years for the next one. Um, not forever though. I don't think the wait is going to be as long as it was for New Horizons. Okay, eight thousand nine hundred. I'll take that. It's a nice little chunk of money. Um, I think if I had to put a year on the next one arriving, if we're going off Breath of the Wild two metrics for Switch game releases, um, I'd say about five years because I believe that's due to release this year. And obviously, Breath of the Wild. Well, Zelda games take more time to make than Animal Crossing games, but they're more popular, so it's, it's messy, but I would argue we've got to wait four more years, five more years for a new game. New, new Nintendo console by that point, definitely. And whether that'll be like the Switch 2 or what have you, it's. um, I don't think it makes sense to have two of the same Animal Crossing games on the same console. You're, just, you're dividing things up at that point. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'd say 2026, 2027. Anyway. Should have probably done this to begin with, but it did pop into my head. I'd say let's, let's do a little celebration. Makes for a good thumbnail. Anyway, so, um, hello everyone. Welcome to the Grand Completion Ceremony for Mister's Vital Museum Renovation Project. Thank you for joining us on this occasion. I'm Isabel and I'll be your host today. Thank you, thank you, you're too kind. We want to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. Take it away. Um, on to the next project. That's... I mean, we'll pick that next time. I was kind of hoping I could construct the dream suite, even though I couldn't use it, but... There. Yeah. Right, well said, mayor. You have quite a way with words. Now, moving on, everybody, please locate that item we passed out to earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of the Public Works project and all the hard work that made this possible, ready, set, pop. Bang. Ba bang That concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all your hard work and taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. No. A little ceremony. And everyone just thought why they couldn't host those at the like especially for the special ones. I'm not sure why they couldn't ever host those at the like actual site constructs that are main straight. So they, cause they do it for the cafe. But they never like I, I would have always expected this to be hosted outside of the museum or you know, whatever new thing we're opening up on Main Street, but we just don't. So, hmm. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Is there a programming thing against having certain types of characters in Main Street or what have you? Might I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just like it was. It was easier to get it to appear at the train station because that's where the gyroid was. And no, we're having a conspiracy over here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hmm, can I, how do I get rid of this? Sorry, my, I know I'm trying to float completely stops to say that, but how do I get rid of my bingo cards? Um, is there, a, is there a recycling bin in Town Hall? There isn't, is there? But I can't sell it, so... What do I... Hmm. I can't sell it in retail for some reason, even though you know, I could just pay a fee to deposit it. And there's no recycling bin in here. Where do I leave my bingo cards? Like, I know, I know there's like the bin public works projects where they're like, oh, just you know, throw it in here and it, it will delete the item entirely for you. But again, unlocking public works is such a pain in this game. It'll take, it'll take forever to actually get to that point. And the whole bunch of luck too. So, hmm. Like, again, I remember I, I couldn't sell this to retail. Unless maybe, unless maybe they want to keep it for the whole of the winter season and I build snowmen and get the bingos on them. You know, it's completely blocked out. 
Uh, that's, that's a bit stupid, if you ask me. Like, except my bingo cards, put it in the paper recycling bin. Can't have, can't have anything in this there. God. And well, you know what? Fine then. Fine then. If you, if you, if you so much desire me to build a snowman, I'm gonna build one. You have to play bingo with. I'm not gonna fill out my card, but I feel like I've got one for a reason at the very least. So, where you at? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, you a pitfall? Ooh. Ah. Okay, if I wasn't looking for snowballs, I never would have came down here and found that. Okay, well, okay, that's good. That's good for our museum. I'm gonna get rid of this, though. We're gonna... Let's, let's make a snowman, then. Since the game is so insistent on us keeping our bingo card, we're gonna make a snowman, and hopefully it wakes me up a bit more so I stop goddamn yawning constantly. A uh, keyword there is hopefully. You never know. Either way... Oh, I swear if that shattered. <gasps> oh, and the ones here. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I should roll these to a better location, but I think you get where I'm going with this. Oh god, my, okay, my control is really, um... So let me grab you from the start, or at least kick you like you kind of New Horizons. Just, just build. Just, just get pushable, please. Please. So let me roll you. You're more than big enough to put my hands on. Thank you. Okay, well, let's take this for a spin, then. Ugh. Yeah, I always try stuff the dirt patches when I'm rolling up a snowman in these games. Just because I always thought that... Not necessarily stops the snowman from growing, because that makes sense. But I think it like inadvertently slowly shrinks the ball you're rolling to, so I'm uh, always always wary about it. Either way, we've got a hefty one here, so we're gonna it's gonna dodge around that, and yeah, that's definitely that's definitely big enough. And then for part two, then okay, you're not getting pushed by bug. Unfo I still need that bug before it um, stops being snowy, because I want it. But they're pain to actually catch, so. Wait and see, wait and see. Either way, are we gonna have to go for a lap around here just in order to make things a little bigger? I think we are. Let's just go, let's go this way. So look at me, I'm, like, I'm, I'm scheming, I'm scheming to make like, the best damn snowman you ever have ever seen. Okay, I should've known that was coming, but either way, let's take the further way around. Just, uh, please fit. Okay, the last thing I wanna do is break this, so I think I'm just gonna take it the way I was originally, I could just, I could just go around the trees and not have to go through them. It's, it's big enough. Uh, now you're smaller than that, so you should be the head. Boom! And he's got bingo by, so we did it well. So bravo, wonderful, such amazing craftsmanship. Who in the world are you? You're a snowman builder of rarest caliber. That's how you are. I'm overflowing with joy to be in a body like this. I like to express my profound appreciation with the game of bingo. Okay, what are we gonna get? Okay, I would ideally like 42, 45, or 20. And give me a zero, give me a zero. Okay, well we have 29. It's not the best one, but... Oh, I need to physically click on it, don't I? It's, it's not the best one, but... Sure. You can't, you can't exactly get a line straight off the bat. You gotta work around it slowly. I mean, if we if we manage to play sooner than I expect... I mean, maybe, who knows, maybe we can come to this guy, get another bingo card, build another snowman. I would quite like a lion. So I purchased this house for a nice price. That's the only reason I care about so much special furniture. And all the playing of City Folk just taught me. If it's from a special event, it's also a high amount. And then New Horizons came in and changed all of it, and now we have a room full of Easter themed stuff. Again, don't think I didn't see that fossil spot there. I'm on to you. And it's not a pitfall. Okay, how How many fossils are there in this town? Because they just keep getting bigger. Like, I'm gonna go for a walk, I'm gonna go for a mini little walk. Excuse me, Barbara. It's like, is that... how... hmm... Found so many fossils, and yet not a single person has actually come to visit the campsite. So what are the odds? What are the odds? I don't know. Either way, I think that's probably going to bring us to the conclusion of this episode. We've done everything I can immediately think of. Uh, join us next time for when we're actually picking a new public works project to kind of start and go along with. It's been, it's been a good episode, this. It's been nice, lively. And what I'm going to try and do is record the two other Animal Crossing games for the channel at different points through the day so I can kind of update you as to how my day's gone. Uh, this is my morning, a very tired episode, in case you couldn't tell. Tired, yawning, it's kind of a very conflicty, conflicty episode. But hopefully you enjoyed regardless of all my yawning and like awkward pausing to try and yawn in silence. Uh, speaking of yawns. <sighs> Is that the seventh time? Eighth time this recording? Seriously.
Uh, but I think if that's, uh, yeah, that's the end. So if you did enjoy, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, pop us out of the bunch, let us know you want to see more of that. And yeah, but all said, all that aside, I really do hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Ramek and peace out.